everybody, it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking all about living with food allergies, my tips and tricks, some of my favorite accessories to carry with me as a person with food allergies, and some food alternatives. And as always, I will have all the products mentioned in this video listed down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. I highly recommend all these products and would never lie to you about products, especially when it comes to something as serious as food allergies. So let's get started. And I also do want to mention that if you don't know what an EpiPen is, I will have a video linked down below all about what an EpiPen is as well as a demonstration on how to use it and in that video I also talked about other things about living with food allergies so be sure to go check that out and now I'm going to move on and tell you some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years with living with food allergies the first one is to always carry two EpiPens with you and the reason for that is because after 15 minutes if you are still having an allergic reaction and haven't reached the hospital or gotten help or the EpiPen just didn't work you can go ahead and inject another one and for those of you who might be wondering, yes, I have had to use my EpiPen before and it hurts like a mother trucker. Another thing I've learned is to always keep Benadryl with you. And over the years, I have found that either liquid Benadryl or the ones that you just dissolve in your mouth work way better and way faster than a pill form. These ones are both from CVS and these two are my favorite. The first one is just the Dye Free Children's Allergy Liquid Medication. And these are the single dose ones. And this is just what the little single doses look like. All you do is you rip the top tab off and then you pour it in your mouth and then these ones are just the rapid melt ones and these are just the kids dye free allergy rapid melts and they are in the bubble gum flavor and this is just what they look like they're just little white tablets that you put on your tongue and let them melt another thing I've learned recently is to always wipe down any surfaces you are sitting at I just like using these Lysol wipes these ones are in the lavender scent and these ones are just in the original lemon scent and I actually found these at the Dollar Tree a few weeks ago and stocked up on them and I carry these with me everywhere I go I have them in my backpack I have them in my purse I have them placed in strategic places at my school and stuff like that it is just really important to wipe down your surface because you never know who was there before you and you never know if they were eating something that could contain something you are allergic to and my last tip is to never be afraid to ask people to not eat something around you or if you're out in public and getting food never be afraid to ask if it could contain an allergen that you are allergic to moving on to talk Talking about accessories, I am first going to start with EpiPen holders. And currently, I just have three favorites. And these are in no particular order. And the first one are called Spy Belts. And I actually have two of them. The first one is just black with multicolored polka dots. And the second one is just red with white polka dots. And I absolutely love these. And essentially, a Spy Belt is just a belt that you can wear under your clothes that can hold your EpiPen. Really, they can hold almost anything. They can fit the iPhone 6. They can fit money. You can hold EpiPens, inhalers, anything you really wanted to, and you can wear them under your clothes. You can also just hook them to things like your backpack or your purse. And it just makes having an EpiPen with you at all times so much easier. Both of these are in the large pocket size, which I absolutely love. And for a comparison, I do want to show you guys the difference. This one is just carrying a single EpiPen, and this one is carrying a double EpiPen. And I will go ahead right here and insert clips of me wearing them to show that they are really concealed under your clothing and no one can really tell. And what's really awesome about the spy belts is that they are lightweight. You can carry your EpiPen, you can carry Benadryl, you can carry money, you can carry your phone. You can carry almost anything you could possibly need with you. And the fact that it is on you makes it so much better so that if you do happen to have an allergic reaction, you don't have to go searching for your EpiPen. It will be on you directly. Another EpiPen holder that I really like is from a website called Allergy Apparel. And it is just this one. This is their EpiPen Carry All Polka. And this is the one that I usually either keep in my bag pack or in my purse. This one is cool because you can wear it on you and it does come with a belt so you can wear it on you. However, I do not wear this one on me because it is a little more bulky and it also comes with a carabiner attached which I really like and with this one it comes with a little stitched in piece of cloth that you can put your name, your phone number, and an emergency contact in which I really like and it is essentially one main pocket with a folderish type of pocket over here which I just keep some Benadryl in and then you can just fit two EpiPens right there. And then there is a little zippered front pocket which you could put some money in, some more Benadryl, and stuff like that. And this definitely is one of my all-time favorite cases along with the spy belt. And 
And then the last carrying case for EpiPens that I like to use is actually from the EpiPen company. And if you guys have EpiPens, all you have to do is go on and create an account and you can get one of these for free. I highly recommend doing it. They have a bunch of different designs and types. This is just one of the neoprene cases and it is just yellow, blue, and green. And like the others, this one also comes with a carabiner. And with this, it has a little pocket in the back and in there I just have my information card. And then on the outside, it just came with the little tags and it just says EpiPen inside. And then there are two pockets. This front one just unclips. And in here is where I keep my Benadryl. And then there is just one big pocket where you can keep your EpiPens and this fits two of them. Overall, this is a really good case and I don't have anything bad to say about it. However, if I had a choice, I would definitely go with a spy belt or the allergy apparel case. Another accessory that is really important to have is a medical ID bracelet. My personal favorite is one I've talked about here on my channel and it is from a company called Endeavor and it is just their My ID Sport bracelet. It is just a simple silicone medical ID bracelet that carries all your information on it. I can't actually show you the back of my bracelet because then you will all have my information but essentially on the back of the bracelet there is a little bar that has a QR reader so anyone with an iPhone can scan it if you are in an emergency and get your information and if they do not have a QR reader app all they have to do is call the phone number on the back and then all they have to do is enter the ID number on the back of your bracelet as well as the pin number and then it'll pull up all your information and then moving on to apps that I really like I have two the first one goes along with the bracelet and it is just the my ID app and this is what you use to put in all your information and attach it to your bracelet and I can't show you too much because it does have all my information but essentially you can do your vital medical conditions personal information address emergency contacts allergies medications physicians insurance information other information and you can also see your linked products and another app related to having food allergies that I absolutely love is an app called DineSafe and essentially on DineSafe all you do is you go in and you type what restaurant you are going to and you also put in your food restrictions and then it'll pull up everything on the menu that you can have in green and that you can't have in red and it just makes eating out so much easier so that you don't have to constantly ask what's in this what's in this what's in that is there peanuts in this is there egg in that and lastly I'm going to be talking about my two favorite peanut butter alternatives my first and all-time favorite is sun butter and I personally like the creamy kind and it is made out of sunflower seeds and on the container I really like that it says that it is free from the top eight allergies which are peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, soy, dairy, eggs, fish, and shellfish. And I also really like that it is made in a peanut-free, tree nut-free, and soy-free facility, so you do not have to worry about cross-contamination whatsoever. And it is also school-safe, so if you go to a school that is completely peanut-free due to kids having allergies, you can definitely bring this. And this is just what it looks like. I absolutely love it. It looks similar to peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter. And another peanut butter alternative that I really like is called Wow Butter. This is the first peanut butter alternative I ever tried and I absolutely loved it until I tried sun butter. Wow butter just has a really weird odd consistency. I don't even know how to describe it but it does. And again this is safe for schools and it is made in a 100% peanut nut gluten dairy and egg free facility. And really the only difference between these two is there is a slight color difference, a texture difference, and the wow butter contains soy and the sun butter does not. And this is just what the wow butter looks like. And also another big difference between these two is that wow butter has to be refrigerated and sun butter does not. So those are just some of my tips, tricks, favorite accessories, and alternatives for someone who has food allergies like I do. If you guys have food allergies, make sure to let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to hear what you are allergic to and start up a conversation about being food allergy buddies. Also, if you guys would like to see more food allergy related videos here on my channel, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every Tuesday and Saturday when I upload new videos. If you guys would like to keep up with me off camera, Camera, be sure to go over and add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is just alexas.life and I post pictures of food, things I'm doing, and stuff like that. Another really good way to keep up with me off camera is to go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both of which are just alexas underscore underscore life. And again, I post pictures of food, things I'm doing, and stuff like that. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! <laughs>